Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about pen tool, how to use it and what is the use of pen tool. Let's start. First, let's see the difference in place embedded and open. If we give place embedded, the image will place in the document which we created. If you give open, the image will open in the new document. That is the difference between place embedded and open. Okay, let's get back to pen tool. This is the image which I'm going to use as an example. Before that, let's drag layer section and path section. These two are very important while using pen tool. The shortcut for pen tool is P. You can see there. Inside that, we have many important tools. Let's give it a try. Let's start with pen tool. In pen tool, we have two options. One is shape and the path. Let's see one by one. First, let's try shape. It's better to try and learn pen tool like this using a shapes. The first shape has only lines. The second one has curves and lines. The third shape has more curves. Fourth one is difficult for the beginners because it has more curves than lines. If you select the shape option in the menu bar, you can see fill and stroke. What is fill? Fill is used to fill color inside the shape. Stroke. Stroke color means it is filled to the outline of the shape. Let's start creating the first shape using pen tool. Click and click again, we will get a line. That is the path. Now you can see a stroke color applied for the path. Let's deselect the color and start creating the shape and fill the color inside the shape. You can see I have also applied the stroke color now. First shape is done. Now the second shape which has curves and lines. It's totally different from the first shape because it has more curves in it. How to create a curve? Let's see. First click a point while creating the second point. Click and drag. You can see a curve. To break the tangent, use Alt and click. It breaks the tangent. If you create a point now, you will get a straight line. But we need a curve. So click and drag. You will get a curve. Follow the steps which I do. Now we are going to see some new tools. One is path selection tool and Second one is direct selection tool. Let us see direct selection tool. It helps us to move a particular point while creating a shape. Likewise, we can also use control and adjust the point while creating a shape. Second, path selection tool. Path selection tool helps us to move the entire shape. After creating the shape, we can use direct selection tool and adjust the curves. You can see there, the curve is not completed. I think we need some anchor points. For that, we are going to use a new tool, add anchor point. You can see there, it helps us to create another point in the middle of the path. Now, we need it as a curve. How to create it? So for that, we have a tool as convert point tool. It helps us to create curves and we can adjust the curve using direct selection tool. If you think like, I don't want that anchor point, we can remove the anchor point using a tool called delete anchor point. We saw all the tools in the pen tool section, except freeform pen tool and curvature pen tool. We'll explain you later. Let's get back to the third shape and fourth shape. Have a view how I handle these two shapes. out here. Practice pen tool using shapes like this so you can learn soon. We'll explain about pen tool path section in the next video. 
Thank you. Peace.